or whatever happened to forever, man. since you stopped combing your hair or brushing your teeth or cleaning on a regular basis? Since you started talking to me like you're drinking, buddy. Three months, man? You know, this is about non-compliance. This is about non-conform I thought you appreciated that, man. Look, Bob, it's not that I don't like your ideals. It's just you're a walking statement, and I'm not. Yeah, well, you wear rings on your fingers. Rings. What's that all about? You don't see me crying about that, do you? I would have been just as happy wearing one, if you know what I mean. I don't. I don't get it, man. I don't understand why you'd want to bury five good... No, no. Five great years just because I'm letting my hair grow and don't want to be part of some puffed-up white-collar standard. But it's not about growing your hair. Bro. Look, look at me. I'm happy. Isn't that the most important thing? I can't live without you, Jill. Be all alone. I had plans for us. Plans. You never had any plans. You know, plans. You know, couples planning stuff. Look, Pop, face it. I mean, we've been growing apart, and. Look, I still love you, and I want to stay friends. Friends, my ass. I don't associate with abandoners or the betraying types. You know, I was really hoping that you'd be more civil about this. Yeah, well, I was really, really hoping that you wouldn't break up with me. Go. I don't ever want to see you again, ever, abandoner. You are fine. Never, ever again. You two make a cute couple.
those are living things, man. And all living things on this planet have the same, the same right and will to live as you or I, man. I mean, you can't just, you can't snuff them out for your own senseless pleasure. Hey, man. I mean, hey. I mean, hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Very nice. Uh, Pride and Prejudice. Hardcover edition. It's, uh, it's a good read. Oh, yeah? Have you read it? No, I, I saw the movie. Kira Knightley. She's hot. And a very impressive, uh, very in command. <laughs> Did you see it? Book's probably better. I was, uh, I was actually thinking of getting myself a copy. Uh, hardcover edition, of course. <laughs> yeah, I think they might have it at this, um, this library uh, around the corner from my house. Uh, Matter if you like books, maybe I could um, take you there sometime. It's it's really great. I mean, it's it's full of books. Is my phone bothering you? I'm sorry. I'll uh, I'll turn it off. <laughs> Can you please go away? I would really like some time alone to read my book. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm all about space. <laughs> uh, would you want to maybe hit up that library sometime together? <laughs> yeah, the one with all the books? Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Just, uh, just, uh, Friendly invite, you know. It's just the, it's the nice type of guy I am. I'm always trying to do nice things for people. But, uh, but hey, it's it's all right. I can handle rejection. Are you blind? Blind to what? That lipstick you're sticking your lips with is directly responsible for the wrongful imprisonment, abuse, and death of thousands of animals each year. Are you crazy? If caring about the welfare and humane treatment of animals makes me crazy, then yes, call me crazy. This lipstick is certified animal free and it's organic. I wouldn't use anything else. Oh. Huh. Organic. Well, that's pretty earth-friendly. I know. I suppose I uh, owe you an apology. It's okay. I thought it was cute in a weird kind of way. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cute in a weird enough kind of way that you'd give me your number? 
Or if you're not into talking, your email. I don't know. How do I know you're not the weird, psycho murdering type? <laughs> do I look like the weird, psycho murdering type? <laughs> you kind of look like Patrick Bateman. <laughs> American Psycho. It's a good flick. Could there have been a better Bateman than Bale? I don't think so. Oh, that's a big bag you got there. Got a bowling ball in there? You gonna bowl me over? Yep. Got lots of stuff in here, you know. You never know when a girl's gonna need to protect herself against weird, psycho murdering types. Like a pen. <laughs> Jam a hole right through your corroded artery. You'd die in less than two minutes. Good to know. Or I could just use it to write with. <laughs> Jessica. Well, um, I have to go and take care of something, but um, I will call you. Hey. Do you got a name? Bob. <laughs> nice to meet you, Bob. You too. watching you work. Why is that? Because it makes you sweat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ground's full of rocks. Mm. You thirsty? Sure. I made some freshly squeezed organic lemonade. Sounds peachy. <laughs> I'll be right back. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> I think she's gonna like her new home. Soil's kinda tough. <sighs> It'll be fine. You know, I was thinking, we should plant a bunch more stuff back here. I mean, I know it's a little late in the season, but you never know what'll come of it. I don't know. The ground's pretty tough. <laughs> Here it is. I thought you said you're not talking to Jillian anymore. I'm not. I don't know why she's calling. Don't lie to me. Come on, Jess. Tell me you're not seeing her again. Look, we, we just started talking again. I, I was gonna tell you! You said it was over! You said you would never ever see her again, ever! Oh, I hate you! Jess! What are you getting all crazy about? Can you be rational for a second? I mean, we've been dating, what, a month?
can still be friends. 